Welcome to this week's edition of WTHS News. I'm Ray Sandroni. And I'm Jackson Bridges. Today is Friday, January 29th, and here's this week's top stories. The Tupelo High School Teacher of the Year Award is given to the teacher who goes above and beyond for students. We caught up with Ms. Clay, the teacher who has presented this award, to see what it feels like to be Teacher of the Year. It's remarkable um, just to be picked from so many teachers and have teachers actually vote on it. Um, it's absolutely awesome. I could never even imagine uh, being selected as Teacher of the Year between so many teachers, so many outstanding faculty members. It's, it's an absolute, automatic, just outstanding honor. I taught at three districts. I taught at Aberdeen, Starkville, and Tupelo High. I've taught human anatomy, physical science, biology, botany, and zoology. Well, as you can see, if you look around my room, we do a lot of hands-on um, activities. They like those. Just having fun, making it fun, making it exciting, and making sure they have a good time, but they're learning the content. And it's something I want them to be able to take with them as they go through other classes and go on to college and just be able to remember and remember having fun doing it. Jackson, the snow is pretty cool, but I think I'm kind of ready for it to warm up. Yeah, I agree. I'm tired of the cold weather. Let's go to Tanner and Eugene to see if it's going to warm up any. Thanks Jackson, I'm Tanner Scoville and I'm Eugene Wynn. This is your 7 day forecast. Today we have a high of 59 and a low of 39. Make sure to come out tonight and support our basketball team as they play Hernando. This weekend we have highs in the 60s and lows in the 50s. And on Saturday our girls basketball team will be playing at Pontotoc so be sure to go out and support. Come support your Golden Wave soccer teams as the guys and girls play at home Saturday for the second round of playoffs. Guys play Northwest Rankin and girls play Madison Central. Starting off the week, Monday and Tuesday will be high of 60s and the lows of 50s with both a 50% chance of rain. Monday will be a bowling match, so please come and support. And then Tuesday, we have a very big basketball game at Columbus. It'll be a close one. Wednesday and Thursday, we will have highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s with both 10% chance of rain. That's your weather for the week. Back to you in the studio. One of the most popular segments last semester was Gossip Tupelo, hosted by Katie Ellis and A.C. Lothorpe. Let's go to Katie and A.C. to see what these pretty girls have to say. Watch this. what a guy. It's so delicious. It's hot, hot. Hello, I'm Katie Ellis. And I'm A.C. Lothorpe. And this is this week's episode of Gossip Tupelo. This week, we'll be discussing one of the biggest phenomenons of the 21st century. Something so big and so huge that it's gotten its own word in the English Webster Dictionary. Instagram. Furthermore, we'll be discussing a new and upcoming way of thinking that goes along with Instagram itself, Binkspiff. What is Binkspiff, you may ask? Let us explain. Binkspiff is an Instagram acronym that stands for bios, edits and filters, names, captions, stalking, profile pics, and finally, followers. This acronym functions as a literal scientific breakdown of the Instagram world as we know it. But don't be confused. We're here to break the, down this term for you and change your way of Instagram thinking. First off, when is it okay to put your boyfriend or girlfriend's uh, initials in your Instagram bio with a little heart lock emoji? Never! Um, also, do not put your Snapchat name in your Instagram bio, okay? Spoiler alert! None. No Ask FMs. Period. End of discussion. Those should be left in 2014. The question you should ask yourself when creating your bio is, what do I want potential followers to know about me in 140 characters or less? A good example of a good bio would be a hipster quote, maybe where you live, etc. This is your personal statement. Choose wisely, people. The way you edit your pictures can either make you into a, a beautiful butterfly or an ugly caterpillar. However, you need to be careful on how much you edit your pictures. You do not want to look like a completely different person when someone sees you in real life versus how they see you in your pics. Keep in mind, only use one filtering app, whether it be Aviary, Camera Plus, Visco, or Instagram filters. Only use one. Let me hit you with a scenario real quick. You're at a party and you meet a cute girl slash guy and y'all hit it off and it's awesome. And they're like, hey, let me hit you up on Insta. And it's great, right? Ha ha, wait. But you've got to spell out some long, ridiculous name that A, this potential other can tell that you've tried way too hard on and B, makes you look really, really bad. Here are some tips we think you should use when creating your Instagram name. 
First off, if you have to use more than five underscores, it's probably a stupid name. Also, be sure to incorporate your actual name into your social profile somewhere. No one knows who glitter underscore princess 77 is. No, or soccer boy 123. That's weird. Don't do that. Ever. Like, like ever. Just don't. Don't. No. Please, please listen to this section closely because in today's day and age, more and more people are getting caught in the bad caption epidemic. Yes. I, I really hate to burst your bubble, but no one's reading past two sentences. No one wants to read your five paragraph crap about how much you love so and so or you know how happy you are that it's so and so's birthday, blah, 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 blah. Next up on the agenda is stalking. You probably think that we're about to get up here and tell you that stalking is creepy and that only weirdos do that. And do you really not have anything better to do than to look into the details of your best friend's brother's cousin's sister's ex-boyfriend's college history professor's life? Ha! Wrong! We're here to give you some tips on how to make your stalking experience run as smoothly as possible. Consider this scenario. You're 216 weeks deep into someone's Instagram profile and you like a picture. What do you do? You can A, continue liking their pics and play it cool like you totally meant to, leave some comments in fact. Or B, throw your phone off a cliff. They will either think you're funny and a friendship will blossom or they will block you. Just remember when you're stalking, you're not alone. Everyone does it. Everyone. It's an art form. We can all be creepy together. Okay. P is for profile pics. Please hear us when we say this. Please. If your profile picture is a truck. Last but def not least is followers. Do you have to follow everyone that follows you? No. <laughs> Absolutely no. not. No. Definitely not. People, the beauty of Instagram is that it is, in fact, not Facebook. Followers are not a mutual thing. You no. do not have to follow everyone back that follows you. It is a personal decision whether or not you want to see someone's personal life all over your news feed. Yes. Finally, do not get upset if someone does not follow you back. We really hope that Bing Spiff will help you take your Instagram life to the next level. And together, we believe that we can stop this terrible epidemic of bad Instagrams. Hit us up on Insta. We love our fans. <laughs> Listen up, y'all, because this is it. The beat that I'm banging is delicious. The boys and girls soccer teams have both passed their first test in the playoffs. We checked in with some of the players to see what they have to say about the playoff win and to see what they look forward to as they continue their pursuit of a state championship ring. During preseason, I was still at football, but I had heard of rumors about how our season would potentially turn out, like us being a very young team because we graduated, I think, like around 11 seniors last year. Um, I knew it would be a challenge for us having such a young team because some players would not be used to playing a lot but I figured we'd still be pretty talented. Well, being a senior, um, these playoff games mean so much to me because it's my last go around for a championship, and I know right now it's win or go home. So really, we just have to play to the best of our abilities, and hopefully we can go far in the playoffs and be successful. We play two rounds before North Half, and if we win all three games, we advance to the state championship. I think we have a chance to win this year if we just come together as a team and we overcome our fear of like Madison Central, which we play tomorrow, so it will be a big game. Yeah, we've um, gotten closer towards the end of the season, which is usually always what happens, and they're like a big family to me, and I don't know what I'd do without them. We don't have to drive anywhere, and they have to drive three hours to come up here and play us, and we have all our fans that should come out and support, so I think we'll have a lot of people supporting us for this win this weekend. Yes, it has. Um, it's actually gone over my expectations. It's been wonderful. We've all come together as like one big family and um, we all have just been working really hard and I think that's really important when you have um, a team sport. When one person's down on our team, we all lift each other up. So um, that's been the most important thing to me this season. Um, our team goals are just to play with like heart. Um, I, we have like a lot of competition with the teams we're going to face during the playoffs and so we're all um we're all going to be competitive and they all play tough and so we just have to keep our minds to playing as a team and if our player if one player or teammate's not playing good or um shot, shoots a ball that's not really a good shot you know you have to lift them up and 
Um, I think that's the most important thing when you have a team sport. And um, we want to win the state championship, and that's what we've been practicing for. I'm super, super excited. It's been like a really, really hard process and very stressful and um, multiple breakdowns, honestly. But um, I'm really excited to go. I'm going to Mississippi College, and I'm playing soccer there. And um, Liza Wise is actually coming to play with me, too. So um, we can, we're going to do good, I hope. So I'm excited. I feel pretty good. I think we have a legitimate shot to go all the way this year. Logan Little, Chase Huddleston, and uh, Colby Bogle. They're key, key players to uh, getting the ball up and down the field and uh, scoring for us. Coach Fawcett, uh, he's a good guy. I think he's done a good job with us this year, uh, preparing us for the playoffs, and uh, hopefully we can go all the way with him. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of WTHS News. I'm Sandroni, Ray Sandroni. And I'm Bridges, Jackson Bridges.